Columbia. No, not that Columbia, nor that one. I'm talking about this Columbia University, located on 116th and Broadway, New York, New York. Welcome, welcome back to our How to Get Into Every College series. Today, I'll be talking about the most urban IV of them all, specifically, how to get in. Now, Columbia is unique in that it's one of the only top colleges to clearly articulate the five key points that it wants students to hit in their application. Honestly, I wish other schools did this, so kudos to Columbia Admissions for making this so crystal clear. Let's start with academic preparation. But we can't talk about academic prep, or knowledge of Columbia for that matter, without referencing Columbia's core curriculum. Loved by some, hated by others, the core curriculum is Truth be told, kinda controversial. I know a friend who transferred out of Columbia because she didn't like it very much. And I also know former students who we've worked with that love the core curriculum because it teaches you the foundations to critical thinking, logic, and rhetoric. One thing is for certain though, you have to write about the core curriculum. It is a fat red flag if you fail to mention it. Hmm, but what is the core in the first place? Well, according to this admissions officer, it's a series of named courses and general requirements that are completed throughout the duration of the four years of an undergraduate's academic career. Now, to get even more nitty-gritty, let's talk about some of the classes within the core. One of the most famous is Literature Humanities, or Lit Hum for short. One Columbia student said that in this course, she read, I kid you not, 15 to 20 books over the course of a single semester. And these were hefty works, guys, like Homer's Iliad, stories by Plato, Dante, Jane Austen, Virginia Woolf, and Toni Morrison, just to name a few. How does knowing what the core curriculum is actually help us get into Columbia? Well, one of the core tenets of the core is engaging with primary sources and thinking for yourself. So. In those Columbia supplemental essays, be sure to mention a time where you didn't just read other people's interpretations of historical events or data, but you analyze the information yourself. You could also mention how you've read stuff like Plato's Allegory of the Cave and Song of Solomon, but now you're looking for a chance to actively discuss the ideas that you found in those texts with your peers. In fact, don't be afraid of mentioning these titles in that short Columbia supplement that asks you to list the books that you've read. More on that later. Another way to hit curiosity, academic preparation, and knowledge of Columbia all in one go is to pull up the Columbia course catalog. Find classes that fascinate you, not just within the core, but also outside of it too. Be sure to hone in on courses only offered at Columbia, not ones that every school has. A good example would be something like political analytics, while a bad example would be something like intro to philosophy, because that's offered everywhere. I've mentioned this in a previous video, but a really key concept in all college essays is to use threads. Articulate how what you want to study is an extension of something you've already studied or something that you're actively studying. Perhaps in your free time you listen to TED Talks about stoicism while you go on morning jogs or maybe you recently completed like a statistics project related to the effect of TikTok on South Korean democracy. Whatever it is guys, be sure to connect the dots. Hmm. So we've already established that Columbia wants curiosity, which many students have told me can be quite challenging to convey. Luckily, Columbia has made this super easy for you with this short essay where you're able to just list content that you enjoy. I can't stress this enough. Be the fish that swims against the current. This is how we stand out and this is how we get in. Include a mix of well-known publications like The Economist, but also quirkier YouTube channels about lesser known topics that you genuinely find interesting. Each text or book that you mention is an opportunity for the admissions reader to understand how you feed and nurture your curiosity. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that quick break. Back to Columbia. Engagement with others. Now, a superb way of showing how you can engage with others is through Columbia's diversity essay and or their unexpected challenge slash adversity essay. We've already established that Columbia loves thinkers. So 
showing your intellectual engagement with others would be a phenomenal topic to cover in those supplemental essays. Two strategies that I recommend. The first is to write about a time where you combined curiosity with selflessness. Talk about how you taught a difficult academic concept like anthropomorphism or nuclear fusion to your younger cousin or a group of elementary or middle school students. A second, perhaps even better strat is to write about a debate since Columbia love, love, loves intellectual discussions. So talking about a controversial issue where afterwards, thanks to that discussion, either you grew or you helped someone else grow would be a sensational response. It serves as a triple whammy since it wouldn't just show your engagement with others, but also your personal growth and your intellectual curiosity. Next up, we have voice. One student I worked with last cycle wrote about how they were legitimately insulted for pursuing STEM as a girl. Not only did she describe how she gracefully handled this rough interaction, but she was so moved by the experience that she started a group to empower other girls in STEM, even going so far as to host weekly events and invite other successful female role models to help inspire this new community she built. Take note of this formula. First, you introduce the problem, right? Then an initial individual solution before elaborating on a bigger, more systemic or systematic solution that helps the community at large. This is a brilliant way to demonstrate how you don't just use your voice to be heard, but also to amplify and uplift those around you. The final thing that Columbia wants to see in applicants is knowledge of Columbia itself. Probably the easiest way to begin is by familiarizing yourself with traditions at Columbia and mentioning them in your Why Columbia supplement. There's literally a bunch on their website here, guys. They're really trying to make your lives easy. Just be sure to do your homework and check them out. For example, let's say you enjoy cooking, food, and cooking food. A simple but powerful little tactic would be to connect your passion to Columbia's midnight breakfast which is a tradition during finals where students eat breakfast at midnight to de-stress. If you have a cultural breakfast dish that you would like to share, like kanji or baoji keijo, that would also be lovely to mention. Perhaps you could even include a short, you know, one or two sentence anecdote where you explain how you once spent hours researching the perfect kanji. I mean, that's another clever way to highlight and underscore your curiosity. With all that in mind, it's important to note that Columbia also wants you to talk about New York City too. You are in the greatest city on earth. How are you going to take advantage of that? Taking the cooking example from before, you could connect volunteering at midnight breakfast with volunteering at somewhere like the Holy Apostles Soup Kitchen. Or you could mention the fact that you want to start a food blog about hole-in-the-wall restaurants found in Harlem or the Heights. If you're into shows and show business, write about how you want to work at or contribute to theaters around town. Get hyper-specific though. Talk about which musicals or plays have caught your eye and mention why they resonate with you. Okay. That was a pretty long video. I'm sorry. I just want to help you guys as much as possible. Please forgive me. Before you go, don't forget to check out our other videos. Let me know in the comment section below which school I should do next and what other content you guys would like to see. Until next time, my dear virtual little siblings, Captain Kevin, out.